Hey there guys, it's Zolog here with the deck profile for the Rockstun. This is a quite old deck actually uh, that got new life bre breathed into it with the release of Kwakimeru Overdose. Um, so what the deck did was essentially bring out these uh, Kwakimeru monsters, the Guardian and the Sandman and Wall the Big Stack to keep your opponent out of the spells, traps and monster effects. Uh, so basically it has like this little Shockmaster engine built into their monsters which is really cool. However, they need to tribute themselves in order for things to go, uh, in order for them to, like, stop things. Uh, so, uh, and also, Kwakimeru Overdose is a really a good card, too, because um, back in the day, this, uh, this deck had access to three cards, which did basically the same thing as Overdose does now. And that was Solemn Judgment, Solemn, and Solemn Warning. Uh, now, back in the day when this deck was played, Solemn Judgment was at 1 and Solemn Warning was at 2. So, um, this guy kind of replaces that and he's actually better than those cards because this guy can stop multiple summon, multiple monsters in one go. Uh, say, if your opponent Pendulum summons something or plays Soul Charge, you can activate Overdose Effect and just negate that and destroy all of them. Which is really cool. Uh, and he also sits on a 1900 body, just like the rest of them, which is really, really awesome. Uh, they can just sit and be huge beat sticks. I mean, heck, uh, one of the strongest main deck monsters of the format is uh, Unukali, which sits at only 1800. So this deck can really stop your opponent re relatively quickly. Um, unless they have like an answer to it right away, which they probably won't, considering this thing's going to be normal summoned uh, most of the time. So they won't be having like easy outs to it. Uh, so what I further do is go into deck pro and, and experiment as we go along. So first we run the triple Quackimir Overdose. Uh, this card is just stops uh, opponent's summons uh, by tributing it. Uh, you need to also reveal one um, rock type monster in your hand in order for this guy to stay on the field during your end phase, which is quite easy to do nowadays. We, uh, well, in this deck, because all you run is rock monsters. So uh, you're not going to be uh, having too much trouble keeping this guy alive. Uh, now, uh, all of them, all the Quakimaris in this deck basically have the same effect, except that they stop different things. So, Guardian here, I run triples of him as well. He stops uh, monster effects and destroys them. Uh, so, he's kind of awesome. So, he's basically a, um, a Trap Tricks, Trap All Nightmare on legs. Uh, uh, of course, we have the Sandman, which stops, uh, no, which stops traps. And then we have the Wall, which stops spells. Uh, then we have the Pachycephalo. Uh, this was like the, I guess, the original version of the Quackamere Overdose um, because he destroys special summon monsters. And when he sits face up, well, of course, he spe destroys special summon monsters. And while he's face up on the field, neither player can special summon. So he's kind of like a, a vanity's emptiness in a sense. Uh, but he's not going to be lasting for too long, but his effect to destroy everything that's special summoned is really nice to have. It's not like anything super awesome, this format, but... Uh, it, it's good to have, and the stunning effect is really, really nice, especially when you have stuff like uh, Guardian and Sandman and Wall to keep your uh, keep the stun going. Uh, next, of course, we have the legendary Jujutsu Master. He's basically just something that uh, spins things at the top of the owner's deck, and he also has pretty hefty defense at 1800. So he's going to be a fat wall that just spins things back to the ex uh, to the top of the X slash extra deck. Uh, which means that nothing in the main deck is going to be running this guy over, which is really cool. And I guess uh, Shadals could technically run him over with a Dark Armed, but by the point that that happens, you probably already have something like a Packy or a Overdose already on board. So, yeah. Uh, next we run the Triple Block Golem. This is basically a way to get back two Kwakimerus on board at the same time. Now, uh, the Black Golem is actually a really good card. Uh, because if all cards in your graveyard are Earth, which, by the way, all the monsters in the main deck are Earth, and uh, you're not going to be using your extra deck too much, and most likely you're going to be going for the Earth monsters anyway, just to keep uh, the Black Golem alive. Um, but yeah, you contribute him, then target two level, four, two level four or lower rock type monsters in your graveyard, except Black Golem, and special summon them but you cannot activate their effects during the turn they're summoned this way, which is actually a really good thing, because that means that these guys won't be destroyed during the end phase, which is why the block, man, uh, block golem in this deck is so good. Uh, besides going for Xyz place, of course. Uh, next we have the new Spatial Grand Mole. This is just to uh, get rid of uh, any potential dangerous extra deck monsters and things like that. 
Um, and next, of course, we run the one right Geki. Now, back when this de deck was relevant, uh, Dark Hole was a one, as well as uh, Heavy Storm and Solemn uh, and uh, uh, Monster Reborn was also at one. Uh, so this deck has kind of lost a little bit of its power, but it gained a little bit of it back with right Geki instead of Dark Hole, which is, makes this deck so much better. Um, and next, of course, we run the Triple Diamond Core. Uh, now, this is a card which the deck did not have back when it was relevant, but uh, it's actually really nice because it allows you to search out the uh, Quacky Mirrors a lot easier. That was one of the problems which the deck originally had, was that it didn't have anything to use in order to search the Quacky Mirrors, because they were really important. If you didn't open up with any one of them at all, you were in a heap of trouble, so this is essentially just a way to get them out. Uh, also, uh, they, it acts as a second layer of protection for your Quackimaris, should you not have any other Rock-type monsters on your hand by the time you summon them. Um, so it's kind of nice in that regard. Uh, next we run Double Pot of Duality. Since this deck does not special summon a whole lot, it's kind of nice to have, uh, just to make sure that we get our Quackimaris to our hand and things like that. So it's, um, it's a nice card to have. Uh, next we run the Triple uh, Mystical Space Deck Loom, just for back row removal. Uh, I know in this format it's not super duper great because everything is chainable, but still, uh, you might actually want to run Night Beam instead, but I was thinking like, eh, why not go for the uh, Mystical Space Deck Loom instead. Um, Night Beam is an excellent choice as well. Uh, next we run the one Book of Moon. Uh, this is just to stop uh, opponents' plays dead in their tracks and keeping them from doing nasty shenanigans. Uh, note that you should switch this out for Breakthrough Skill should you go up against Shadals. Just saying. Uh, next we run the two Forbidden Lands. Now, uh, this can actually mean the difference between winning and losing a game, believe it or not, because these guys have pretty high attack power, and when your opponent summons uh, something like that's kind of large, uh, let's say a window or something that this deck normally can't run over by just smacking into it, you can just go for Forbidden Lands and lower its attack points by 800 and then just beat over it. Uh, the same thing goes for um, other really troublesome monsters. Um, like the friggin' Delta Rose and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, next we go for the uh, Bottomless Trap Hole, just to stop Pokemon's place dead in their tracks. Then we have the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, deals with monsters that we normally can't deal with off the bat, and it also dumps uh, things like the Overdose and the Guardians in the Graveyard for the Block Man play, uh, Block Golems later, on the, later down the road. Uh, next we have the Double Dimensional Prison, uh, just to stop opponents from, uh, like, wa just walking over our monsters if their effects don't get to go off. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of important. Next we run the one uh, Compulse, just to stop opponents yet again and get rid of, getting rid of monsters that we don't really want to deal with. Uh, and finally we have the Triple Call the Haunted, just to bring back uh, things like Sandman, Guardian, and Overdose. Uh, during our opponent's turn, just to make sure that they didn't do any nasty shenanigans. And finally, we run the one wire tap to stop trap cards. Uh, normally, this deck ran seven tools, but since wire tap is, much, uh, is a bigger and much superior card, we run this instead. Uh, as for the extra deck, we run the one uh, Gem Knight Pearl, just to run over monsters that have too high attack for us to deal with, uh, normal through normal means, such as the, um, yeah, the Delta Rose, basically. Uh, next one, the uh, Double Go 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 Goliath. This card is actually really nice because it allows us to recycle our level 4 Earth Rock type monsters, um, which is basically everything besides uh, the last five, uh, which is really, really nice to have. Also, all monsters we control gain 800 defense. Not necessarily that super important, but keep in mind that that actually makes uh, our um, Paki really beefy and it gets to sit on a friggin'. Uh, it gets to sit on a uh, 2100 booty, which is pretty big, considering what it does. Uh, next, we run the one Ragna Zero. This is in combination, of course, with the uh, Fairy King of Alverdage, just to keep our opponent's uh, attack points lowered, and uh, using Ragna Zero to get rid of them, uh, and giving us additional draws. Uh, next, we go for the one Marrow Geist, just to get rid of monsters that get effects while, uh, when they're sent to the graveyard. Uh, next we run the one uh, Silent Honor's Arc to get rid of uh, big Xyz monsters that we don't really want to deal with, and in case we have something like a Block Man, a Block Golem or something like that available. Uh, next we run the one um, Giant Hand just to negate monster effect. It's basically an Xyz version of uh, Quackimir Guardian, but it doesn't destroy though. Um, 
Uh, also, it can't change the battle positions, which is kind of nice. Uh, next round, the one a Heartland Draco to deal additional damage. Uh, should we need that extra 2,000 life points of damage directly to our opponent's face? This is the way to do it. Uh, next, we have the one uh, Castell to get rid of anything that is that uh, is in defense position that Silent Honors are, can't deal with. Uh, and also getting rid of other nasty cards that are face up on the field that deals uh, that, that does things to us that we don't want to deal with. Uh, next, we run the one Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, just to, you know, pop cards, basically. It, it's it's a neat little card to use. Uh, next, we run the one Steel Swarm Roach, uh, just for additional stun, should we, uh, well, need it. Uh, not necessarily that it's super needed in this particular deck, because all the monsters basically do that by themselves, uh, but uh, just in case uh, something happens to them. We can just go and make a Steel Swarm Roach. Uh, next, we go for the Evil Swarm Excision Knight just to clean the board if our opponent outs um, like outsources us or something like that. Uh, out resources, should I say? And then we run the one Digusto Emerald to shuffle back uh, things like the Overdose, the Guardians, and the Block Golems and things like that into our main deck again, and then get to draw a card off of that. And finally, we run the Diamond Crab King to run over anything that. It basically will kill us uh, if it has too much attack. Now, uh, the only card in the uh, that this deck really does not have a straight answer for is the um, is the construct. Now, it, you you can basically deal with the construct if you have the right cards available uh, on your field and things like that, such as D prisons can deal with it. Uh, Phoenix wing wind blast, the bottomless trap holes. The Compulses, the Call of the Haunted, things like that. But uh, as I said, we don't have any like main deck. and We don't have an extra deck answers for it. Um, well, I guess you could technically see uh, Ark and Castell as that. But normally, they have a wind already out on board. And uh, we can't really do much against that now, can we? Uh, so, tell me what you guys think about this deck profile. And I'm out. <laughs>